greetings due to changing lifestyles diabetes mellitus is on the rise globally about 422 million adults are suffering from diabetes india is considered to be the diabetic capital and about 62 million indians are suffering from diabetes diabetes is a major health concern and it affects all parts of the body including the eye in the form of diabetic retinopathy 13th october is observed as a world sight day and this world sight day we need to be together to fight against conditions which can cause blindness and vision impairment so what exactly is diabetic retinopathy diabetic retinopathy is a condition because of which retina that is the light sensitive layer on the back part of the eye which is responsible for vision gets affected due to diabetes the blood vessels of the retina get affected because of which there is swelling in the center part of the retina which is known as the macula or there is formation of new blood vessels in the later stages so who develops diabetic retinopathy as i said any patient who has diabetes can develop diabetic retinopathy longer the duration of diabetes greater the chances of developing diabetic retinopathy not necessarily that the sugars if the sugars are under control he will not develop diabetic retinopathy for a few years diabetic retinopathy can develop to any patient so what are the symptoms of diabetic retinopathy in early stages the patient may not experience any symptoms at all but in later stages especially when the macula that is the central part of the retina gets affected there is swelling over there he will start experiencing a blurred vision or a wavy or a hazy vision if that remains undetected and in later stages if new blood vessels are formed and there is bleeding inside the eye then he will have a total loss of vision what is expected from the patient basically a patient who has got diabetes should get his eyes checked a complete dilated retinal examination from an qualified ophthalmologist or retinal surgeon at least once in a year then depending upon the stage of the disease further follow ups or treatment is recommended but the main important thing is that a diabetic patient should get his eyes checked regularly at least once in a year a complete dilated retinal examination depending upon the condition of the retina further the doctor may advise you for the investigations in the form of angiography fundus fluorescein angiography is an opd procedure by which the doctor comes to know about the blood circulation in the retina he will also come to know whether any new blood vessels are formed on the retina and he can take a decision about laser treatment an oct scan that is a retinal scan of the center part of the retina the macula is advised so as to know the amount of swelling and then decide the further treatment so what are the treatment options for diabetic retinopathy if there is swelling in the center part of the retina then usually injections are advised which need to be given on monthly basis so as to halt the progression of vision loss and even to improve the vision to some extent sometimes a laser may be also needed along with it so as to prevent the progression of swelling if there is formation of new blood vessels then an extensive laser is required so as to prevent further vision loss if there is bleeding inside the eye there is a pull on the retina then an advanced surgery is required known as vitrectomy which helps to clear out the blood and remove the pull on the retina this vitrectomy surgeries are usually carried out by retinal surgeons so to conclude i like to put forth the following points a patient who has got diabetes should get his eyes checked yearly a dilated complete fundus examination is necessary while the checkup it's not just that you take out the number but you need to go to a qualified ophthalmologist who will put drops in your eyes and check the retina secondly your blood sugars should be under control if you have got associated blood pressure that should be also con- be under control so as to prevent the progression of of diabetic retinopathy as well as slow the progression of diabetic retinopathy and keep a healthy lifestyle